Here's last of the ninth inning. It's a perfect game going for Jim Bunny. The batter is Charlie Smith, and here we go. Foul ball back out of play, and the count strike one. The slender father of seven here on Father's Day in eight innings has retired 24 straight men. In his quest of a baseball dream, a perfect game. This crowd is absolutely holding its breath. High pop fly. This one is playable. The shortstop Bobby Wine is in foul ground. One out. Now George Altman is coming out. George Altman is coming out to bat for Amato Samuel. Real good left-hand hitter is being set up now, and Bunning is really going to have to earn it. He has retired 25 straight. High fly ball. It might go foul. It is going foul. Callison coming over. May or may not, and he does not have a play. It's in the crowd. One strike the count on George Altman. One away, we're in the last of the ninth, and another left-hand hitter, number 49, John Stevenson, is now in the on-deck circle to bat for Tommy Sturdivant. So if Bunning is to do it, he's got to finish out against two left-hand hitters. Foul out of play at strike two, a good breaking pitch that was in on him. since 1880 in the National League, not since 1902, 22 in the regular season. In 56, Don Larson wrote the history of the game of the perfect game of the World Series. Here is Jim Bunning with one man out in the last of the ninth inning. Two strikes to count. the second time around, Bunning did his 1958 no-hitter with the Tigers one better with this flawless showing. Not only was this just the seventh perfect game in history, but the first in the National League in more than 80 years. 